Yo guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'll be having a very lovely guest with me. Get your popcorn. Stay back. So remember I told you I'm with a special guest. So <laughs> I have a very, very amazing person with me today. So DJ Ace, what's up? Uh, hi. Mercy, how are you doing? Now? I'm fine. So what's been good has been DJ Ray like. Um DJing, ah, okay. it's like it's just survival, but like DJing is everything. You know, you have the way footballers like go train every day. Is practically the way I train every day. Okay. Like, if I don't DJ day, I don't know. It's like me not going out or me not eating or something. Okay. So, so yeah. tell us, like, tell us like a little bit about yourself. You know, for people that don't know you, you know, uh, tell us. All right. Basically, yeah. Okay. My name is Andrew Martinson, aka DJS. Um, I went to Maryland Comprehensive Secondary School. I didn't finish. I left to Westminster College. And from there, I started DJing from like GSS3 for like my first prom. That was a very trashy event. Oh Lord, that was like the worst DJ then. <laughs> First and play DJ. Did you get? I, didn't, I couldn't mix songs well. People were just like annoyed. But like I didn't give up. But I, I kept the hope alive because I knew that I understood music i knew how things like this work so basically i was doing this for the fun of it trigger yeah but after like a while i st i stopped because of he was interfering with school then you know at some point your parents were like yo you have to go to school and leave this trigger but then behind them i was still doing it because i loved it then i got to meet people i, I never graduated from any secondary school though because I was switching up at some point, then I wrote exams at the SS2 and I left school. I met some friends, we did a house party, and it was shit. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was shit. But we didn't give up, because we did Blinded 1, Blinded 2, Blinded 2. Shout out to Meadow, though, for <laughs> making such an event. Hey, God. <laughs> hey, God, no, 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 <laughs> fuck. Ah. It was. It so, was but like, uh... after, after a while, I got better at it. Then my parents saw me improving. Did you get? And my mom actually dropped me at my first event. It was a Bella Ninjas, uh, one of their cousins, blah, blah, blah. I actually got the, this thing. I, was, I did it at the after party. And that's where like, everything started for me. Okay, so like, who, like, you know, this life is not an easy life. So who would you, like, who's your inspiration? Like, who do you look up to? Um, first of all, God gives me inspiration. That, like, legit, it's not cliche, legit. Then, DJs in Nigeria, my boss, because <laughs> we work together. DJ Neptune, like, he's really good. He's out of this world, according to him, too. So, like, he's really good. Then, outside is Khalid. Khalid is, like, the best DJ I know. 16 and was only DJ in the radio station in the US. Wow. Do you understand? Like, it's so, it's so amazing, like, what everybody wants to do. As a DJ, like every young artist now wants to be like a whiskey that will just grow up and be a whiskey and blow. But like DJ, me, I was going to probably be a Cali, but not the fat type <laughs> of Cali. Did you get? Yeah. So basically, like those are my two inspirations, Neptune and DJ Cali. Okay, so would you at any point of time see that, you know, when you get to do this over and over again, do you get tired of listening to a particular music like over and over and over again? like? What's that feeling yeah. like? Because I know for me, I have a limit. Like there are some songs that you just want to listen to like once, twice. Tell me, give me the full gist. My choice of songs depends on mood, where I am, and what's happened around me. Because looking at it, if I'm sad, I would like to listen to a rap song <laughs> that is deeper, like Kendrick Lamar or something. And I can listen to it over and over again. Because that's my particular mood at that time. But if I'm DJing at the club, oh my lord, like the songs I hate that people like, I'll definitely play them. So yeah. So okay. basically that's it. So guys, um we're going to move on to another segment with DJ Ace. And this is the question and answer segment. So what would you do if you stepped out like far from home? Already, like you're already at your destination and you realize that your zipper was broken. Ah. 
nothing. I'm already there already now. <laughs> just that, like, there's nothing you can do. Like, I will just literally be zip less. <laughs> wow. Like, no, there is nothing I can do. You know, except like there is a tailor around to amend it or something. But like if it's something important, probably like I'm going for an event and at some point I see my surprise down and it's broken, not even down. <laughs> we'll forget to <laughs> we'll just go like that. Okay. Because basically yeah, if you put your mind to it, you will know that people will not notice. Mm. Oh, top secret. Next one. Are you ready? Mm. Okay. So um Buka or a dirty tree? Ah, Buka. Rihanna or Beyonce? Rihanna. <laughs> DJ exclusive or DJ spin out? Exclusive. Why? Because spin out is, is not, it's not, it's not, it's not, no, I can't say that. So me! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Linda Ikeji's blog or Insta blog manager? Ah, Linda Ikeji now. No, but, no, that's hard. I like Insta blog because they are, they are liars at some point. No, Linda Ikeji. No, like, they Linda tend Ikeji. Really? Okay. I, like for me, I'll go for Insta blog because you know there's there's some certain they just they give this ginger Alias. this swag. Alias. No, but it's all about you know. About their, all online. It's all about fake news and. Well, Lin, that is exactly that is the Linda doesn't give fake news. <laughs> okay, so would you uh, go for romance or horror movies? I'm a girl. <laughs> okay. I'm just romance. Okay, chicken and chips or eban soup? Eban soup, especially egusi. <laughs> Don't mess with my egusi. Okay, so Telemundo or Zero? No. So would you go for solo coke or big coke? Like big boy coke? Ah, it's big boy. Huh? Are you a big boy? Big boy is not. Really? Is it because I'm not wearing chain? Why are you like this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, which comedian do you find like hilarious? I don't know. I is a fool. I probably is an idiot. <laughs> Like, it doesn't have sense. That guy is a god. So, if you were to spend like three days, like off work, where would that be? Off work? I want to go to Cuba. Hmm. So, have you ever been caught naked? Maybe. Ah, like secondary school. Hey, but yeah, I actually did it. Yeah. You must sleep outside naked. And not sleep outside, like you're standing on the sand. Ooh. <laughs> it's, you know, like, it's the way um, body house. Yeah, like it's like that everywhere so like what was the last gift you know you bought for someone don't lie the last gift i bought for someone was for a girl i think slippers it was for her birthday and yeah. she liked it yeah even though it was a size bigger than hers but like i tried at least yeah she appreciated it okay so we've come to the end of this segment don't go anywhere stay tuned I will be right back. So I'm going somewhere and I want you guys to stay tuned and let's see where we're going. Around town. Hey, so, yes, how's everything been? Great. So, like we all know about DJ. So, what would you like tell people about him? I'll say this. Um, it's, it's not just been long. We just started working because we've been on this tour called um the Glow Mega Music Tour, and DJ Ace is like one hardworking DJ I know. Like before the show time, he already prepared the set and is always ready, even like days before the show and everything like I admire his ethics of work because that's how I am do you understand when it comes to music like I pay attention to the art and I feel like that's what every entertainment person needs the dedication to the work so like that's one thing I admire about him and of course he's a talented DJ we all know he's a dope DJ so that's why I work with him okay so that means you want to tell us that you see him going places like yeah, yeah, I say like this is just the starting point for him and I feel like in 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 any field you are in life, as long as you're focused, that's all you need to focus and you go places and he's focused for sure. Thanks, Rontown, for having me. I appreciate us. man. Thanks for having me. Okay, so bye guys. <laughs>